Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to log an email here in Salesforce. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Salesforce, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Logging emails in Salesforce allows you to track communications with customers and keep all relevant interactions in one place. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the setup section. If you are on the homepage of Salesforce, all you're going to do is click the gear icon, click the setup, and this will lead you to the setup interface. There's going to be a quick find tool right here on the upper left corner. And now, we need to make sure we are using the Salesforce Inbox, which is going to be recommended. Salesforce Inbox is an add-on for Salesforce that integrates your email client like Outlook or Gmail, making it easy to log emails. Now here, type in Inbox for now, if you haven't already. And there's going to be the Inbox, which has the Setup Assistant. All right, click on it. First off is make sure your Salesforce admin has enabled Salesforce inbox or email to Salesforce. As you can see, the inbox is available for users. You can give users access to productivity features in their email, such as scheduling, email delivery, and email tracking, which is for you to be able to log an email. All right. Now, another option that you can do is assign a permission sales rep to give them access to inbox features all right you can do that later but the most important thing is if you want to track emails obviously that's logging in at least one recipient outside your company all right so you need to make sure this is going to be turned on you also have an option for internal email tracking which is obviously logging in an email as well you can also exclude email tracking data by ip address if you want to set uh these options you can do so later for example, if you want to set up the external, oh, the exclude email tracking by data, if you click on the setup button, you would be forwarded to another option here wherein you just have to put more information. All right, you can filter email tracking by IP address. If you want, you can turn it on to ensure that email tracking management data does not include when an email is opened by internal user. Therefore, you're also logging in by um, filtering by IP address. Now, going back to the setup earlier, here, if you want to assign permission sets, so it's a lot easier to log an email, say, for example, a team member, a client, or a collaborator, you can do so. If you haven't already, just click on new, and that would forward you to the permission set. Just enter permission set information here, label, API name, and description, all right? You can uh, set this to, uh, to multiple users if you want, and so that way you are not only keeping track or logging an email as well as the email user as well. After you've done that, hover again to the uh, users. And then now I need you to go to the sales options because this is very important so we can log emails. All right. For example, we can manually log emails in Salesforce using the activity timeline. Now you can choose accounts, contacts, opportunities, and a lot more. But for now, I'm going to choose the contacts. If you don't have, just go to the account. For example, we're going to be using global media as an example. Now, hover to the activity on the record page, find the activity section, and then just enter the email details manually, including the subject and body of the email. Click save for the log activity, and it will appear in the activity timeline for that record. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.